Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back reacting to a new show. And we're both really excited to bring this show because we have kept this completely under the radar. We have told no one in the community, not even our mods, know that we're reacting to The Last of Us. Honestly, it was a last minute decision. We didn't know if we would be able to handle the workload doing both Game of Thrones and Avatar at the moment, but we were pretty excited. I've played the game personally, Pudgy never has. And I've wanted to show her this story for a long time. I was not too convinced by the show until the last trailer or two that I saw. She hasn't seen anything. And they gave me more of a feel of what the game made me feel. And then the reviews lately have been pretty solid. So we're still going to come into this and make our own opinion. But all that considered, we're talking about it. We're like, do we just do it? We're like, screw it. We're just going to do it. Probably going to be a bit more workload than we're used to. Yeah. But we are going ahead nonetheless. So we hope you guys are pumped because we don't know what to expect. We're both actually a bit nervous going into this. It's a really long first episode. What are you feeling? I mean, just on what you said, that the last trailer actually made you feel what the game made you feel. And you said that you really liked the game, the first one. So, I mean, that makes me excited and makes me hopeful that, you know, it will reach its potential. Yeah, yeah. And the, I'm not someone who trusts reviews because a lot of reviews lately are pretty shady, but <laughs> the reviews across the board seem to be pretty good, even from smaller outlets that I've read. And a lot of people seem to be saying that it's very faithful to the games, which I think is a big tick because we all know that game adaptations have a horrible track record. Mm. Now, I never actually played the second Last of Us. I was going to and then just heard a lot of negative press and just never got around to it may get around to it in the future, but for context, I'm coming into this having played the first game. Um, I'm familiar with the story, but it has been like, I don't know, five years since I played it. So definitely not going to be like super fresh, but I know the the main points. You pretty much going into it blind, blind, I think, other than I told her that it's sort of a, you know, zombie post-apocalyptic sort of world. But other than that, pretty much blind. Mm -hmm. I remember in the beginning, and a lot of you probably share in this, the casting, personally for me, the casting for both Ellie and Joel was like, it's a bit weird, right? Joel looks a little bit different than he did in the game. Ellie looked, again, a bit too different, but, and some of you might feel this, some of you might not care. As the trailers went on for me, they almost grew on me a little bit, or I could see them filling the role. Now we'll find out in this if they do fill the role, but the trailers started to convince me that maybe these characters could be faithful adaptations to the game, which is all I think most people want. Um, from what I understand, the directors have said they want to be faithful to the game and they're not going to go outside of that scope at all, which is great because most game adaptations just do not work well. I'm looking at you, Halo. So hopefully they nail it because honestly, the story's already set. I remember it being emotional, great twists and turns. If they do it right, if they stay faithful, and, I've, and I do have hope that they will. Mm -hmm. We watched House of the Dragon was the last HBO series that we watched. Um, and obviously watching Game of Thrones now and, you know, probably one of the more, one of the streaming platforms that we have a bit more faith in that deliver. So fingers crossed. I don't need those words. Well, yeah, I don't have particularly much to say just because I have no expectations. I don't really know what the story is about. Even when you were mentioning characters just then, I'm assuming they're the main characters, but I don't know what they're meant to look like, what they should look like from the game. So yeah. So you should bring a bit of a fresh take too, because... With our reactions, to anyone who might be new to the channel for this reaction, we like to keep it pretty authentic. If I'm not enjoying certain components of a show or I'm not enjoying the way a story's done, we'll just be vocal about it. There's no, you know, pretending we like everything. That we, might, we may just not like certain things. So I'm coming at it from someone who's played the games and obviously going to be comparing my standards to that. And then you're coming at it from someone who has no idea. So you're just going to be looking at it as someone who's only seen the series. It'll be cool to see how our opinions differ yeah. and if we like the same things or don't. And you're, you're, you're definitely known as a harsh critic, so if it gets you off to give approval, we're pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> as always, a huge thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Your support helps the channel out a lot, and it does mean the world to us. If you are interested in the uncut version of this reaction or any of our other shows that we're watching, check out the link in the description. For those of you over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button so you can follow our journey with this show and other shows that we're doing if that interests you. And be sure to let us know in the comments what you thought of this premiere, how you felt coming into this series, or even what you just thought of our reaction. We'd love to read them. All, All right. right. Ready to go? 
Ready. <laughs> this time. Could be in Chicago within a matter of weeks, and we end up with a global pandemic. Pan meaning all, the whole world becomes. It's a bit relatable. Oh no. Don't we know it? So, an epidemiologist, I presume the prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well. No. No? No. <laughs> all right, well, that's our show. <laughs> good man, that. good man. I write it. Bacteria. No. You like saying no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Interesting. I wonder if that's foreshadowing anything. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. Hmm. Right. Fungus starts to direct the ant's behavior, telling it where to go, what to do, like a puppeteer with a marionette. Crazy. Good to live. So it begins to devour its host from within, replacing the ant's flesh with its own. But it doesn't let its victim die, no. It... Shit. That's brutal. Where do we get penicillin from? Fungus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Candida, ergot, cordyceps, aspergillus, any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brain. Damn, it's, it's like a science lesson. <laughs> but billions of us, billions of puppets with poisoned minds, permanently fixed on one unifying goal. How scary. Fiction to every last human alive by any means necessary. I even like the way they present the stakes and the themes. It's no cures, they don't exist, it's not even possible to make them. So if that mm. happens... <laughs> that guy's shitting himself. <clears throat> That's not what he wanted what on that? his TV show. Damn. So that was 1968. Yeah, and then so casually just smoking a cigarette on the set. Damn. Well, watch the... Oh! Yes! What? This is the iconic soundtrack oh, for the game. That? I didn't know if they'd use it in the series. <laughs> yeah. This almost reminds me of like a Game of Thrones intro. It does have a just... similar formation. Yeah. It must be a HBO thing. I don't know if it's a little bit different or not. It's been a while, but the beginning I recognize straight away. And it's nostalgic. You know, when those certain songs just hit. Yeah, that part. Oh, dude. That brings back the feel straight away. <laughs> All right, I'm happy about that. Is he meant to be like a big fun guy? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. All right, let's go. That, that warmed me right into it. <laughs> 2003. Yeah, um, okay. Like 30 or 40 years later. 35 years, I think. You know, I don't really like pancakes. I know you don't like them. It's for my benefit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So I'm thinking this is before anything's happened yet. How old are you again? 36. Gonna have to wear diapers soon. He says I don't already. <laughs> this dynamic is interesting. Hey, you still alive, you old fucker? <laughs> we can work a double. Literally, today. Oh no, I'd be done by nine. By nine, right? Yeah. On his birthday. Damn. I know. That sucks. Jakarta. Where is that? Middle East? It doesn't ring a bell. It's definitely a country. Or maybe part of Asia. Jakarta isn't a country. <laughs> That's about as good as my geography. <laughs> Finish up quick, we'll drop you off. I'm shooting my eggshells. You got seven minutes. My eggshells? I respect that. She knew they've got calcium in there. I respect that. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> okay, that knife's definitely gonna have some symbolic value. For sure. We got a lot of extra here. Y'all want some biscuits? Dad, you love biscuits. <laughs> They're stitching each other up. I love the dynamic. I do. But I'm on Atkins. You know what? We gotta run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Poor girl got stitched up hard. Hey, she played the game and she lost. Combat okay. veteran. Yeah, it's probably a fair bit I don't remember. From the characters and stuff too. Damn. 
already got theories and I can't say anything because you, so I gotta like, <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> gotta keep my mouth shut. I actually do not remember this backstory at all. I know it's in the game, but I just do not remember it. I mean, that's good. Although I think I remember one thing, but. <laughs> she must be going to fix his watch or something. Doesn't look good. It's not a good sign. I'm very sorry, he cannot finish. I'm already finished. You should go home. Damn, that changed real quick. Yep. Almost reminds me of our lockdowns. <laughs> yeah, I know. So sudden. People out there need to get right with Jesus. Three nails plus one cross equals four given. <laughs> Chocolate chip? Raisin. Ah, what a waste of cookies. I know. It's green. You love that. <laughs> it's green. I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> sure, life's real fun for her. I know. Far out. What's happening? There's a similar movement to one of her classmates that was making those subtle twitches. Oh, that looks not, that was creepy. Oh God. She's normal, normal now. The dog. The atmosphere is heavy. <laughs> I know, like I feel really heavy in my chest right now. Damn. You know that can't be good. You locked the door for once. Good job. She's a bit scared. Where's the cake? Shh. Come on, man. I knew it. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the hell? Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. I saw hardcore drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though, I mean. It's great banter. Which I stole from you. <laughs> I could have stolen 60, but I put the change back because I'm an honest thief. Mm. Besides, it's thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Interesting. He puts his stuff to the side, always forgets about himself. So yeah. It's borrowed from the Adlers. Oh, this is the one with the deleted scenes. Yeah. Imagine how bad those have to be. Come on, pop it in. Let's do your birthday. Oh, you just know the good times not going to last long. Don't fall asleep. Of course I won't. It's too riveting. <laughs> oh man, if that isn't my mum. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, those, those old, old Nokia's. <laughs> Joel, it's me. Uh, I'm okay. In case that's Joel. But I'm in jail. <laughs> I was at the bar, some guy goes crazy, starts swinging at a waitress. I stepped in, knocked him out, cops show up, look. I feel like that guy that was what throwing time? punches he was infected with this, whatever it is. Yeah. Grand showing signs of having it as well. And then the schoolboy, maybe. Dude, this, what a birthday, huh? I know. Work a double shift. Go bail someone out of jail. Living the life. What the hell? Dad? Oh, and he's not home, there, yeah. yeah. That'd be so scary. Further instructions. <gasps> what? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing out here, boy? I reckon he escaped from some whack shit. Oh, probably. <gasps> Warning her, don't go over. Come on, Mercy, please. Mercy! Oh, Poor baby. Dude, get inside. I don't know what yeah, you're doing out of that tree. I the memo. Mrs. Adler? The anticipation keeps killing me. I know.
Mrs. Adler? She's got balls. Yeah, or no brains. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. Dude. Don't help him, don't, don't, don't. Get out of there. Shit, man. That is some. Oh. Yeah. oh, you can see. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting, man. Get the truck right now. Move. Damn. What are we doing, Joe? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all you can do. I killed her. Baby, I'm sorry. Joe. Mate, she was dead. Yeah, what do you mean you killed her? No shit. <laughs> we're going to be brave and we're going to get out of this. Hey, let's go, come on. Get in. How did he have a gun? He just came back from jail. <laughs> I can shut the house! You lock your doors now! Shit. Dude, that was disgusting. That was, that was too much. It's felt like I was gonna oh. throw up. You see him? <laughs> they're all walking, like, weirdly. So you can tell they're infected as well. Where could they possibly be going right now? You would not want to be low on gas at this time. Oh. They're saying it's mostly people in the city. That's why they got the highway blocked off. And the one day she visited the neighbors. I know. It's Jimmy's place. Who's Jimmy? Someone they know, I guess. But damn. The Adlers would take Nana into the city, to the hospital for stuff. That's right. Would. You'd have to go a lot, right? Oh, was that the city where she went for the watch? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no. Hey. How would you know who to trust? I keep driving. We can put them in the back. Damn. Oh my god, this is gonna be a hard series to watch. Oh. I think it's Lou's birthday. Yeah. Oh, no, it's 2 a.m. the next day. Okay, get through. All right, all right. Let's think it through. Let's think it through. Fuck! All right, take the field. We cut across and we pick up on the, on the west side. Yeah, 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 yeah. West, west, all right. Holy shit. Yeah, you'd really want a full drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Times like this. Pitch black. Oh, my God. Mexico. Just far. As far as we can. How much gas? Three quarter tank. It's not gonna be enough. I'd be paying for no gas. I'd be just stopping, filling up, and driving off. Maybe it's everywhere. Yeah, that's what I would assume. I think it's good timing. This movie coming out in 2023. It's even more relatable in some ways. <laughs> Series, I mean. Damn, they're flying so low. I wonder why are they crashing? All right, keep going, keep going. Shit. Oh, Oh. Huh. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going. Right. Get out of my Holy shit. No, no, they're not. They're, they're not all infected. Yeah, they're just all running. You thought they all infected, didn't you? Move. Move. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy crap. What the hell is happening? Oh my god, dude. My heart rates are like 3,000. This world already, from a matter of like five minutes, has just like gone crazy. I mean, you saw little instances of it. 
but you didn't know what it was. Holy shit. Yeah. A lot of this, I think it's quite accurate. A lot of this is how the game told it to. I'm remembering it as it goes. I'm not remembering before. Yeah. But it's familiar. But pff, heart rate can just never rest because I'm anticipating the next shitstorm is going to happen. You know, it's crazy. That guy in 1968, was he a scientist or something? Or he had some corporation, if I'm not misunderstanding. It's almost as if this was done on purpose. Like, I mean, he literally said this. He, like, he knew it would happen. What if one day this, that, and whatever? Maybe. They were already talking about disease getting out of control. Mm. I think he just understood that what he deems a real threat, no one else did. Everyone's okay. talking virus, bacteria, and he's saying... Fungus. Fungi, fungus is something else. It takes control of the host, and that has what he deems a real threat. So I think that was sort of foreshadowing that. Okay. I'm assuming this is a fungus-based yeah. infection, but yeah. Damn, you've left home with nothing. <laughs> now your vehicle's damaged as well. Oh, shit. Come here. Is she injured? I mean, look at the state of the car, I'd assume so. But her leg, I think. Are you okay? My ankle. Right. Okay. We gotta get off the street! Oh my god! Was anyone even in that? Head of the river, I'll find a way! Get her out of here, Joe, go! Well, they blocked off. We can't leave him. He'll be fine. Can no way. You keep your eyes on me, okay? okay. You don't look anywhere else. <sighs> oh my god, they're leaving him. <sighs> Nowhere is safe. What the hell? Holy crap. Oh dude. my god, I don't want to see them eating anymore. Oh, I couldn't handle the first one. Oh my god, their movements are so disgusting. Yeah, they're really creepy. Dude, I was so shit scared playing the game, I'm not gonna lie. I don't blame you. What the fuck? Love it doesn't even turn back. I'll be looking back like. <laughs> Please tell me it's him. Is it Tommy? Don't move. Oh. My daughter's hurt. Her ankle. Stop right there. Easy now. We're not sick. Where did Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you somewhere safe first. Don't go back for him, okay? Oh my God, that's not gonna end well. Hey, no one told you to move. Yes, sir. I don't trust him. Yes, sir. I don't think they're taking chances. Oh crap. We're not sick. Oh my God. Sir, we are not sick! Holy shit. But what are you gonna do? Just kill everyone? That doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense in this situation. I'm sorry. Please stop. Yes. I was waiting for that. Damn, that's not how you want to start. No. no. No way. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. Move your hand. <laughs> oh. I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. I know, I know, I know, I know, baby. I know, I know. I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay. All right. Baby, 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 listen to me. Come on. You come on. I know, baby. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Stop I'm sorry. Joe. No. Come on, baby girl. I gotta get you up. Come on. Come on, get up. Come on, baby girl. Damn. For what? Oh, they nailed, they nailed that scene. Great nailed, acting, really man. Good. Great acting, because I'm, like, distraught. I nailed it.
Just I, I don't think I was expecting that at all. 20 years later. 20 years. So that's just as impactful as it was in the game. <sighs> oh. Damn. <laughs> what the hell are we watching? <laughs> well, I nailed that. So it's been 20 years since then. Imagine what the world's like now. Wow. Wow. Oh, damn, it's our year. I wonder if the game was also that year or if they did that just to match it. Quarantine zone. Do many survive? Damn. Five to 15 minutes is set for full infection. Holy crap. And, uh... How did you get this? Please tell me it's not an infection. Right here. Does red mean? Bad. What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat? Maybe she's like, hey. I hope so. Then we'll get you some new clothes. I think red means it's negative, like it's not a positive case. It's just a little. I don't know. That doesn't seem. It's okay. Positive. You're safe. No, I think she's being genuine in that. I hope so. I think green means it's a positive case. Yeah. And red means it's nothing. They I think their body is, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, they have reenacted the game so far really well. What a world. Life as you knew it, gone. But 20 years for this to be happening, that's crazy. Wow. There's Joel. Is it someone she knew? Oh, it's a child. It's that girl. No, you think so? Yeah, I, I heard, look at her shoes. And the color of her top. Oh my god. I can't remember exactly, it's but her, I think it's her. It's her. Oh crap. I knew it. I knew it. Well, he's by himself. Where's Tommy? Which pays more? Better the one with the shit. Lake crew, 4 p.m. start. Damn, dude, life is tough. Mm. Oh, that soundtrack, remember it. It's, it's, it's nice. Do a lot of amputees? A ration card for one shoelace. Unauthorized exit from a quarantine zone. No way, they're hanging him. Each of you have been tried in a military court of justice, and each of you having been found guilty. No way. Oh my god. Dude. This is ridiculous. Or I could just shoot you. Yeah, but then what would you do? What's this little arrangement? Pills and bullets. Bullets and pills. The more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. <sighs> oh, you guess. Mm. Damn, so trying to deal with all the bloody pain of everything. I need the bag back. Even the bag he needs to save. Stay off the streets for the next few nights. The fucking Firefly's been blowing shit up all week. Two of our guys got shot this morning. Boss has got us working doubles. Guys are jumpy and tired. Of course they're jumping, holy crap. Oh my god. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. That's the title of the episode. It's not like I planned on ripping you off. Well, how about we just let it go? Oh wow. Should you get punished or something? So I give you my word that she won't hurt you. 
He's Joel, her guy. I got jumped by some guys, and then you and I can just move the fuck on. She's pretty understanding. Well, she knows how to negotiate. So are we good? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just as soon as peace was about to be made. Oh god. Is that all the fire flies or there's something? Car battery blew up. I think. Interesting, yeah. She's following a trail of blood. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Oh wow. Well, you imagine there'd be terrorist attacks because it seems to be heavily under some government like restriction. They're shooting! They're shooting on at us! On your knees! No, no, I'm not a fucking. <laughs> Damn. No way she gets troll to hang. <sighs> All chained up and everything. One. Two. <laughs> Think I'm gonna like her. Eight. Fuck. You. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people are gonna come looking for me. People from Fedra, you hear me? Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! What's that symbol? What do you do all day? And you're lost in the darkness. Actually, that might be the title of the show. That is. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. the other one. Well, the other one had that second line. Look for the Lighter. light. <laughs> Just skipping the line. <laughs> this guy runs the joint, huh? He's got contacts. Who's you're he waiting for? Going in at night. You're sleeping, you miss it. When I'm sleeping, Gabriella listens, or my son, the smart one, not the other one, God bless him. <laughs> if Tommy responded, we'd know. Guys, Tommy's still alive. Maybe. Maybe. It hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. It's never taken him more than a day to respond. Tommy's gonna go looking for him. You're a capable guy, but there are worse things than infected out there. I hear everything on this. There are raiders. There are slavers. But you're sure Tommy's okay? Damn, so the world's brutal outside. Even more so than in. It's almost like a pick your poison. Q bar four, but I don't know exactly what. So some people must get sent out to like do jobs and things like that. I don't know. So he's definitely been planning something. I mean, he's been working hard for money, so he's saving something too. For sure, to go travel out. Damn, Shit. he's gone hard. That's some heavy stuff. I mean, understandable. He's still got the, the watch. watch. It's not even working and he's still wearing it. Oh, don't, I could cry again. That night. It's Tess. Yeah. So she's his girl? I got jumped by a couple guys. What guys? Mm. Just a couple teenagers. She stood true to her word. Never learned how to argue to start swinging. Like a 19 year old piece of a shit. <laughs> I need you to take a breath. What? Joe. What? Here we go. What's gonna be? He sold our battery to someone else. I need the battery, Tess. The truck's no good without one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. I have all this for Tommy. No, I've so Joe's got a bit of a rep. That you wouldn't hurt him. But I would very much like for you to hurt him. <laughs> so let's go hunt that motherfucker. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, Tess. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, Tess is a badass. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, it's a hidden weapon stash. Here are all these people. We've been blowing up meaningless Fedra targets spread out all over the QZ for two weeks. We've already lost four people and we're- These are fireflies. Oh uh, yeah. My answer is to follow fucking orders. <laughs> Our people are asking what's going on and I don't know what to tell them. Tell them to follow fucking orders. Shit. Yes. Are we winning? Are we beating Fedra here? Are the Fireflies beating Fedra anywhere? Rebellion takes time. They fight for 20 years and you get nowhere. You're not a rebellion. You just spray paint. True. I want them as distracted as possible because tonight, every Firefly in Boston is going to gather in this building and we are going to leave the QZ permanently. Oh. Damn. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. Why? I mean, I have my ideas, but I'm not going to say. Whatever it takes. We'll get her where she needs to go. Hmm. I mean, she seemed quite happy. And that shut her up real quick, so it must be something positive. Hmm. Hey, friend. Don't worry, I don't want anything. But if you're feeling lost... You tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Adios. Oh my god. Oh. <coughs> oh, fuck her. Poor girl. Yeah, that would be shit. So she's clearly important. Is that the knife? Oh, a knife? Oh. Sarah's knife. It's, yeah. Which was Joel's. Is it gonna happen? No. Is what gonna happen? So can I go? No. <laughs> they put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie? What? So why have they been calling her Veronica this whole time? Why would you terrorists dump me with Fedra? Because it's where you'd be safest, and you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. And terrorist? Was <laughs> Riley a terrorist? Who's Riley? All these names. <laughs> Someone close to her, I'm guessing. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone. Because if you do, I assure you, you will die. Okay, so Damn. people want to kill her if they find it Something out. Something big. You would not want to run into any infected in here. Could you imagine? Don't worry, I did, I did levels like that. It is not fun. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. That's the fungus. Holy crap. This one's done. Like molded into the wall. I know, I just I wasn't expecting it. Oh, that's a person. Oh, it's an infected. Well, maybe down here is where he was infected. Oh my god. Let's keep moving. Oh my god, you don't want to be near that. Why are they so casual? That is disgusting. I didn't realize oh, the person was in it initially. What do you mean by in it? The person like is it. Yeah, no, I know. You smell that? Yeah, gunpowder. Oh, I'd be getting out of there real quick. Fuck the car battery. Oh my God. Wait. This is the Firefly building, I think. Yeah. And that's the car battery, I think. And I think that was the girl that was asking her to do the numbers. He still tried to sell it. Twice. You greedy fuck. So that's that guy. He's got destroyed. Yeah, that is the girl there. Yeah. So did Marlene kill them all? Yeah! Fuck. 
Joel? Okay, they know each other. I thought they would. Oh, shit. No, it's okay. I'll be all right. You can't be stupid like this. Did she get shot? Merch was bad, and he obviously didn't take fuck off for an answer. Give me my knife. What do you need a car battery for? Go. Not at her. <laughs> pointing at me. I can't imagine the old Joel pointing a gun at a kid. Holy shit. And to answer your question, I need it for a better reason than you do. No offense, but Tommy's just one man. It's our business to know things. To know things. You're the cause of it. You turn my own brother against me. Okay, Joel. That was what the hell? What is happening? So much is happening. Is Tommy involved with them? But we won't make it anywhere like this. Not for a while, anyway. So now I'm thinking... You're gonna do it. <laughs> of course. Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle people. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? Oh, oh shit. I know what's out there. We were going with an entire squadron for that very reason. But now I don't have a truck, I don't have a squadron, and I know what you're both capable of. For better or worse. Damn, alright. It's the A team. You get her there safely, and they'll give you what you need. Not just a battery. The whole thing. Fueled up truck, guns, supplies, all of it. I swear. But I hope she makes good on that promise. Asshole. <laughs> so better than decent chance making it to Tommy in one of those. The second we hand that kid over. Y'all talk it through, but please remember that I'm bleeding out. <laughs> yeah, true. Remember what I told you? Now go get your backpack. Now, Ellie. Poor girl has no idea what she's involved in. I know. Joel. Don't fuck this up. He didn't even get a proper look at the knife. Yet. Yeah, I wonder if they are the same. Uh, I think they should be. It would make sense that it was, because there was the emphasis on it. Yeah, it's not obvious at all. Yeah, no. Give us a minute, all right? <laughs> really nice soundtracks. Mm. Beautiful with the guitar. New stock 80 nothing. I wonder what that means. The radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? Oh, interesting. That's what that is. She's smart. What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. He's really closed his heart to everything, hey? He's had to, yeah. A lot. Your watch is broken. Oh. <sighs> I've never been on the other side of the wall. Kind of sounds like a tech on Titan. You guys go out there a lot? I guess. When was the last time? Maybe a year, what's it matter? But you know where to go. So we're gonna be okay. She's just making sure. I don't mind, Ellie. So what's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. Hmm. A little more than that, I reckon. She's an orphan. She's the most to anyone. So I'm saying. What was the song? I kept saying like, like wake me up before you go, go. Gotcha. 80s means trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's very sharp. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna like Yelly. You got a jacket in your pack? Yeah. Okay, get it. It's time to go. Damn, I think every adult's just at wit's end now. There's no time for sympathy for children. Mm. The world's harsh. So I'm assuming he's only been able to leave quarantine zone illegally if but, he's working and aware of the fireflies. Yeah, well. potentially. Well, looks like it, hey. Damn, how long did it take to dig that? I know. I feel like I'm more nervous than them right now. <gasps> Holy shit, I'm actually outside. Keep down. Stay close and you follow my lead. 
Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, what did I get myself into? He's not liking it. Oh shit. Damn, you cannot breathe easy. Every step you take is like... <sighs> Oblivious. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Oh, yeah. Don't move! He'll let him go. You're gonna be shitting me. Okay, let's talk this out. Turn around. Yeah, Get hold on your on. fucking knees. Get on your fucking knees. Damn, dude. Hands on your head, eyes forward. Hands on your head! Is he gonna check if they're infected? Really, man? Yep. I'm doing this by the book. Risk my job for half Holy off. Holy crap. Out of your fucking mind. <laughs> oh. You bitch. <gasps> Get out of fucking way. Whoa, whoa. We can fix this. So she can't risk getting scared. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. What he should have done. Damn. I think he's seeing that trauma right now, like. Yeah. This is what he wished he could have done to that guy. And I don't yeah. blame him. I reckon she feels honored that someone protected her. I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. Look, look. This is three weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. Now things get interesting. What's going on? So she's got a three week old infection, but normally it doesn't last longer than a day. That's why she didn't want to get scanned. Cause it'll come back as infected, but it's obviously not spreading in her body for some reason. Mm. Go! That's why they're doing all those tests on her, like making sure each day. Damn. So she's been infected for three weeks. They were monitoring her to see if it would spread in her body, but it hasn't. So she's got the infection. It, she's just not turning out like everyone else. Correct. Which makes her a unique package. Yeah. Okay. And that's why it's important for her to get to this place with the other like headquarters of the Fireflies. Well, yeah, that's what we can assume so far. Yeah. Yeah. All I can say right off the bat is as somebody who's played the games, that's a very strong first episode. I mean, I think no matter what, you know, I'm sure you'll agree, but that was a strong first episode, full stop. The emotion, oh, yeah. the characters, it, it's great. The setting of it, the way they built the story up is fantastic. But yeah, particularly as somebody who played the games and adaptations usually suck, as a first episode, that was very strong. In fact, I'd argue it was, it was almost like, just very, very accurate. I don't remember it perfectly, but feels very familiar. And especially the lead up to Sarah's um, death and everything to do with that. Just And even the escape now, it all feels very familiar for the intro of the game. Yeah. So they've done that really. So all this is basically like the intro of the game. Well, that's good. Well, for me, as a non... Someone who hasn't played the game, it just as the series alone, it, it was a really strong first episode. I mean... I cried the first episode for a character that we've met for like 10 minutes. That was sad. Honestly, I was, I was holding back tears. Like that was, that was intense. Yeah, I couldn't hold them back. <laughs> but yeah, like even little things that were misleading and then we're given those answers and just a lot of information. Yeah, it's all intriguing. Like, there was no dead spot. Even in the quiet spots where it was just intense, I didn't even feel like that was a dead spot. Yeah, no. And you could never... It definitely had, like, that thriller kind of atmosphere where you could never almost relax. Yeah. Everything just felt like you were waiting for something to happen, especially in the first half when it was before 20 year time skip. just felt intense. So, what do we know about Tommy? So, essentially, all we know is 
He was there when Sarah died. Then we skipped 20 years later. They're not together. Well, he's only been missing for three weeks, they said. Yeah. And then he said- And she's had the infection for three weeks. Yeah. Mm, okay. And I got the feeling that he was working for the Fireflies only because he said, you turned my brother against me, but I don't mm. know for sure. So his motivation behind wanting to set out is to go find Tommy. Yeah. And then Ellie is cargo being transferred to another Firefly. Tower. Tower or something. Tower or something. So that's sort of the premise mm. so far. But yeah, really, I'm really happy they used the original soundtrack. Just awesome, really nostalgic. And it's a beautiful soundtrack in its own right. The atmosphere and the intensity of it all just feels just like the game. Honestly, it's making me want to replay the game. I'm not going to because I want to experience it through this, but it's just making me want to replay the game. Um, it's it's all very familiar. Joel in particular, so someone who's played the game, I think Joel, I'm really liking him. Mm-hmm. Really liking him. He looks a little bit, I think Joel in the game has a bit more of a beard. I don't know if they'll do that later on. Okay. But I mean, I like his beard. But yeah. I'm really liking him. Ellie... Seems good. I think I need time, more time with her. I definitely like her attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think she's kind of tomboyish, which, which I'm pretty sure the original Ellie was as well. So I think she'll fit well as well. And I just got to spend more time with them both. But when she was chained up, did you know that was Ellie? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just have to keep uh, quiet, careful on what, what I'm saying. So I don't do too much. <laughs> well, so in the intro, you mentioned Joel and Ellie. But I forgot, I remember Joel, but I forgot the girl's name. So when it was Sarah, I wasn't expecting her to die. I was like, wait, is that the name that, yeah. you know? And then they were saying Veronica. But for me, I was like, this must be the main girl because she seems important because she's locked up. But I don't remember you saying Veronica. So I was confused. Yeah, I, I, I kept thinking that too. I was like, I'm really liking the the way they went about the names. Even with Sarah, they didn't mention it till right at the end. Yeah. And I was like, perfect, because I knew that you would think she's Ellie. Yeah. And so you'd feel complacent. Yeah. And then boom. So, yeah. And because awesome. you're like, because you also said you didn't know if that was the Ellie you wanted. So it was good mislead, <laughs> which I like. Honestly, that scene with the grandma. Oh, that was freaky. I, I, I was not exaggerating what I was feeling. Like, I was gagging. Like, I don't know. That was just disgusting. Like, the, the way- The shit coming out of her mouth was, was the worst. Was that hair or- It was almost like tentacle things. I don't know. Oh, that was too much. I hope we don't see a lot of that because I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. Now, you seem confused. When we saw a fully infected one stuck to the wall dead- So- I didn't see the body initially. I just saw the fungus. Oh. And then later I saw the actual, like, skeleton in it. I was like, oh, my God, that's disgusting. I thought it was just the fungus on the wall. Yeah, so I couldn't tell. It looked like it was killed. But there was definitely the body, and that looked like it well, was a further along the infected spectrum than what the grandma was. Yeah, because, I mean, we haven't seen a fully infected person, like, long term. So does it eventually, like, the fungus you know, come out of their body and do that and kill them eventually. Yeah, who knows? But you yeah. know, you can assume after 20 years that there's been many infected, especially because they're in quarantine zones, mm. that they're is infected out in the general areas. Yeah, for sure. That, that are probably aged. So who knows what that looks like? But I definitely think we'll be, no, I know, we'll be seeing a lot more of them. And if that grandma was any foresight, it's going to be some creepy shit. And I'm oh. not going to lie, like, those things would always creep me out so much in the game. I, I, I never... I always Is that hated- what they looked like in the game? Yes. Yes, very yeah. accurate. Yeah, 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 very accurate. Like the fungus and everything. Yeah. Yeah, very I think the, the spread out part, I think, was because it looked like it was killed. I don't need it, like it- See, the, I interpreted it differently. I, what I was saying before was that because we haven't seen a long term infection, right? Well, I yeah. haven't. And the way I interpreted it was that eventually, like, it, it starts off with how we saw the grandma, for example, and then eventually it kills, it would say it would kill the grandma and that's how it would look like when the infection kills well, you. Well, I mean, in some sense, that's potentially true. I honestly don't remember the answer to that, but yeah. from the way he explained the fungus, which was that it basically takes over the mm. host, you could assume that the, it's not the actual person anymore because it's another fungus that's taking over. Yeah, and controlling. I'm thinking, but... Who knows? But in terms of, yeah, do they, do they automatically kill them? I don't remember, actually remember the answer to that, to be honest. Well, I don't know. I think like over time. But in terms of him being splattered, that's not, his body was his body. It looked like he had splattered everywhere into the wall. So that. So how, like what you get shot and then like everything like splats. I don't know. I'll have to see. But yeah, that, from what I remember, those, 
I think they're called clickers. It's or something. almost well, accurate. Clickers. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. What it? What is? The one that we saw. Oh, okay. Because to me, it looks like the fungus is trying to find like another host, and that's why it's like spreading everywhere. Who knows? So I see why they did the first episode longer. I believe the episodes after this is going to be like 50 minutes. Okay. But this one was to really cover the full prologue, essentially, so that now it's game on. Now it's <laughs> now it's deliver Ellie. It was already game on. <laughs> I know. And now we're going to see what the world is like. Wow. Yeah, because we technically haven't seen outside since it first started. Yep. And you damn. can tell Joel's very different. Like he's had to really harden... His heart. Yeah, as, damn. as Kratos would say, close your heart to it. I yeah. think he, he's definitely done a bit of that. Because, yeah, there's you can just tell in this world, children, it doesn't really matter. Well, I, I feel like that flashback that he had with that guard is, like, the first step in opening his heart again. Well, Ellie looked shocked, and I interpreted the shock as sort of her looking and going, you defended me? Because it doesn't mm-hmm. look like she's had anyone really looking out for her. Okay. And obviously, he responded to trauma. I think in that moment, he flashed back with his daughter and just snapped. Yeah. So, but that does pave the gateway of, of, of some sort of uh, relationship there. Yeah, for sure. Because in that moment, he was protecting his daughter. Yeah. Damn. I mean, for someone who hasn't seen the game, like, it's actually a really good concept. And I'm really liking the progression of this story just in one episode. I'm just very happy that they've done it very faithfully to the game. I honestly, I, I, I hope this series does really well. It looks like it has the potential to mm. and that other developers just take note of this because it's really not that hard. Most of the games get amazing praise. People love them. The stories are spot on. And then directors come in and producers come in and go, hey, let's just change everything that the core is like. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm- Witcher. Yeah, we got well, which is a book series, but no, yeah. I know, but we've got Witcher, Halo. Uh, I mean, there's more if you if I was sit, sit there thinking about it, but I'm just really looking forward to the fact that as an episode one, this seems almost picture perfect. So let's hope that the uh, other, I think, I think there's nine episodes overall, I believe. So let's hope the other eight or so episodes are just as good, but I'm definitely keen, I'm definitely excited. So am I, to be fair. Yeah, you guys gotta let us know in the comments down below what you thought. Especially those who have played the games, like, did you feel like it was a faithful adaptation? Were you were you impressed? I know a lot of people were, were really skeptical about this coming out, especially in the early trailers, the castings, and just the history of how games have historically been developed into into shows and movies. So let us know. Did you guys vibe on the same level? Were you excited? Because uh, I definitely I think that the reviews were correct in this one. The reviews were definitely correct in the episode one. All right, guys, that's been our reaction. We hope you enjoyed it. Anyone new to the channel? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you start today with our journey. And if you're wondering, we're also reacting to Game of Thrones and Avatar The Last Airbender at the moment. So if you're interested in any of those, check those out on the channel. Remember to leave a like on the video as well if you enjoyed today's reaction. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys soon. See you guys.